all right so friends uh, i mean uh, in the previous lecture we discussed about the fundamental rights yes and we discussed about the concept of fundamental rights what are fundamental rights how do they differ from uh, you know other rights what we call as legal rights okay and there is sometime there is a distinction between fundamental rights and constitutional rights as well right so apne abhi note kar lena hai so far as bahut baar question upsc ka repeat ho sakta hai ki right to vote kis type ka right hai is it a constitutional right or is it merely a legal right to aap answer karoge it's a constitutional right because legal right se constitutional right thoda bada hota hai thoda substantive hota hai theek hai similarly right to property is it purely a constitutional is it legal right or under article 300 a or it's a constitutional right to answer hoga it's a constitutional right theek hai to we discussed yes everything about fundamental rights so far as concept is concerned unka genesis kya hua fundamental rights or human rights ke beech mein kya difference hai right to hum log ka kuch nahi hai fundamental rights are actually human rights only theek hai because broadly we discuss about the uh, types of different rights and we discuss that rights can be what legal rights they can be moral rights theek hai moral rights need not to be codified Okay. they exist as uh, moral claims moral assertion ki form mein wo exist karte hain aur fundamental right unhi category ko constitute karte hain they are in fact virtually speaking they are actually moral rights theek hai they need not to be codified but right an attempt was made in 1948 to codify them aur sabse pehli baar jab aapne dekha kaun si universal declaration of human rights ki treaty sign hui that was the biggest what you call as inspiration theek hai for our constitution makers to provide for an exhaustive list of fundamental rights in part 3 of the constitution right uh, today uh, in fundamental rights in human rights ko protect karne ke liye ya fundamental rights ko protect karne ke liye courts to hai hi but outside the ordinary court system we do have certain commissions which exist today at the national level in the form of nhrc and uh, hrc jisko national human rights commission kehte hain right aur state level pe state human rights commissions and there are some human rights courts also which exist in our country exactly yes okay so uh, we discussed almost the concept of fundamental rights what are rights what is the distinction between fundamental rights and legal rights right and uh, what is the inspiration behind the incorporation of these rights in our constitution we discussed everything we were discussing you know in the previous lecture about the salient features of fundamental rights that are laid down in part 3 of the constitution salient features kya तो अमंग द सेवर सेलेंट फीचर्स कुछ सेलेंट फीचर्स कैन बी इजली आइडेंटिफाइड उनको हम आइडेंटिफाई कर सकते हैं राइट right? एक सबसे बड़ा फीचर यह है कि हमारे पार्ट थ्री में मैं अपने कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन के पार्ट थ्री की बात कर रहा हूँ हमारे पार्ट थ्री में ये जो राइट्स लिखे हैं कुछ राइट्स सिर्फ सिटीजन को मिलते हैं ठीक है और कुछ राइट्स सबको मिलते हैं ठीक है तो uh, हमारे कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन के पार्ट थ्री में ऐसा नहीं है कि सभी राइट्स सिर्फ सिटीजन के लिए हैं देर आर सम राइट्स विच आर यूनिवर्सल इन नेचर दे आर अवेलेबल टू नॉन सिटीजन एज वेल फॉरनर्स भी उनको क्लेम uh, कर सकते हैं such as right to life right to equality article 14 theek hai right to religion right freedom of conscience is that clear right against exploitation article 23 and 24 ye rights sabko milte hain theek hai right these are these are regarded as what human rights universal human rights but there are some rights which are available only and exclusively to citizens jinko hum generally civil and political rights kehte hain theek hai that is article 15 article 16 and some civil liberties 